Thank you, Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Call, And it's a pleasure for me to be here today addressing the second edition of the Malta Innovation Summit and also to cooperate with you, Johan, for such an event with the aim to promote and nurture innovation in our economy. Malta Innovation Summit is an ideal platform that brings under one roof some of the top international and local innovators to discuss ideas find way forward and develop them and implement them. That is why I very much like the, the motto of thinkers and doers. Innovation goes parallel with the evolution of us human beings. Thus, it has to be encouraged. Looking back in time, one may ask, what were the ideas that changed the world? Ideas that were some of the most innovative ones, which have well integrated in our daily lives, consequently becoming indispensable. Ideas that broke the status quo, starting from the discovery of fire, which marked the revolution in the pages of history. The energy that we use today at home and office is a bright idea from more than 150 years ago, with the iconic figures of Edison and Swan patent the first light bulb in 1879 and 1880, the invention of Johannes Gutenberg printing press back in 1440, and the invention of the internet, the email, and the list goes on. These inventions had a ripple effect with the emergence of new businesses and sprouting of other new ideas that highly contributed to the global economy. In the case of Malta, the Maltese economy has evolved very rapidly over the recent years, experiencing an economic growth that is stronger when compared to our European peers. Such growth is attributable to demand factors such as an increase in consumption, but also to an increase in supply and in productive capacity of our economy. The next step is to increase further our productive frontier and to diversify its output by laying down the foundation for a digital economy to flourish and grow. And for this to happen, innovation is the way forward. In fact, the, the latest business innovation survey by the NSO showed that technological innovation expenditure for 2016 was estimated at about 192 million, meaning that Malt has registered more than doubling in its technological innovation expenditure. This confirms our commitment as a government to boost local innovation and technological sector. In fact, the survey shows how a large number of enterprises engage in technological innovation. And this is something we encourage. Just last week, in fact, over 170,000 were distributed amongst eight startups through the META You Start Accelerator program. What is interesting is that the good majority of these startups were blockchain based. And speaking about blockchain, last year, in fact, during this summit, I shared with you my vision of making Malta the blockchain island. And we can see that that vision is now materializing. Today, I come before you with another vision, that of making Malta the powerhouse of economic innovation. To get there, we have to empower creative thinking, encourage further generations to take risks, to explore where the development of an idea might take them, provide the ideal tools and education, while also making sure to keep on helping businesses and startups. And this is what we are doing here in Malta and what we are keep intending to keep on doing. Last week, in fact, we implemented an important measure through the inauguration of the META's new Emerging Technologies Lab. By means of a quarter of a million, this lab will serve as a safe haven where META and government employees, together with students and startups, will explore new emerging technologies and share knowledge on this matter. It will set in motion a new way of thought and how these technologies can be integrated in the day-to-day -day business operations. The activities at the Meet Emerging Technology Lab are targeted towards technological fields related to DLT and blockchain, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, augmented reality, Internet of Things, 3D printing, and scanning. 
It offers a state-of-the-art technology that can be used to innovate and enhance various sectors, including educational technology, artificial intelligence, and robotics. Malta is leading the charge in blockchain and the crypto sphere by providing a holistic regulatory framework that encourages innovation. And now that the three acts will be put into effect on the 1st of November, we can turn our attention to new sectors which have significant innovation potential. Our next priority will be artificial intelligence, quantum technology, and space mining, as well as big data and Internet of Things. Malta is perfectly positioned to pioneer the market in quantum technologies. These emerging technologies give us super fast computers for developing new materials and ultra secure communication system. If we act fast, we will become the first country in the world where quantum shared communications are implemented on a commercial basis. We will in fact invest in research and development and work on a legal framework to foster the growth of this industry. We must encourage more the thought of having more digital leaders. We must nurture the idea of having risk takers and instill interest among the future generations to be entrepreneurial through new startups. I, in fact, urge everyone to come out of their comfort zone, to explore and come up with innovative ideas. Let's work together for more creative startups and concepts that can lead to new economic activity that is also sustainable for tomorrow. We owe it to ourselves, to our children, and to our future. Thank you very much, and I wish you a fruitful conference. Ladies and gentlemen, hands together for Silvio Schembri.